So let's start by going to the IKEA website. In the search bar, type in the following and you should see it pop up in the suggestions below. And there you have it, the God Morgan Cosmetic Organizer. As you can tell, it's $19.99, so slightly on the pricier side, but it's well worth the money. And this is how it looks inside a drawer. The organizer is made of polyester acrylic plastic. It measures 12 and a half inches in length, 11 inches in width, and 4 inches in height, so be sure to measure your drawer before making this purchase. Now let's take a closer look at the one that I use. As you can see, the product itself is very deep and I can fit a lot of products into it. The organizer features a lifting mechanism which allows you to store smaller items on top and larger items below. This section here can be taken out or put back in. The organizer has three large parts, one part taking up half the space. The other compartments are further divided with lipstick holders and a normal divider. The grid divider here can be removed if you want it. Unfortunately, the other dividers can't be moved. So beneath the removable part, I have a few eyeshadow quads, a bottle of lotion, a few hair ties, my Maybelline Dream Mousse blush, a hair clip, some sanitizer, another clip, and a few other bits and odds. Over here on this side, I have my Maybelline color tattoos that fit perfectly into that little compartment. To the right, I have some Mineral Makeup by Revlon. And instead of storing lipsticks in the grid, I use it to store some Color Show nail polishes because they're just the right size to fit in. The grid is too small to hold normal size nail polish bottles, so it only holds really small, narrow bottles. Over here, I have a few sample size foundation primers and emollient cream, and over there is a headband that I use to wash my face. And on to the right over here, I just have a few liners and I have some Biore strips, the pore strips. So I just had two left over, so I just put it there. And to the right, I just have some dental flossers. And that's just a travel pouch to pop some in if I were ever to go out somewhere. Now we're back to the removal compartment. It has five compartments, two of which are bigger than the other three. So in the first compartment, I have a nail file or a nail block and I have my tweezers. And I also have some nail art stickers over there. In the second compartment, I just have a tube of conditioner for my colored hair. In the third compartment, I have some lip gloss, a lipstick and a few MAC paint tubes. In the fourth compartment, I have a few or two sample size tubes from Versace. And the fifth one, I use to store all my mascaras and liners and things like that. Now, before you make the purchase, make sure that the measurements are appropriate for your drawer. I highly recommend that you use a foam shelf liner or a drawer liner to line the drawer before you put it in because you don't want your God Morgan compartment to have any scratches or to show any dirt. Now because I have space in the back, I decided to put in a tissue box over there because I don't use it that often. I can now place the compartment into the drawer. I also use that space to keep some toothpaste and some medicine. 
I just want to point out that you can't store your brushes in the above compartment because it gets stuck with the top of the drawer and it just ruins your brushes and you don't want that happening. If you have nowhere else to put your brushes, you can always store them in the compartment below the removal section. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found this review helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye!